we'll talk about balancing. Let's talk about balancing. Yes, exactly right. <laughs> so we took classes that have been so much brought up to date that we will have to talk about them. As um, as this visual might tell you already, it will be the Foggenaut and the Fekker. I've, I've held off on making a joke, so we'll just go tits up on the chat, so I'll try not to make any joke. <laughs> so these two will be modified during this update. So let's start with the Fekker. There are four big axes here. What can we expect at the level of Fekka on 271? Mm, um, 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 uh, the Fekka of 271, we have modified the whole kit of spell. That's why we talk about a complete revamp. But concretely, the core gameplay of the class will not really change. It will just be an update, a bringing up to date of every single spell. Everything was getting old, but we've brought about a new mechanic that will be the central, uh, a central mechanic. We've added some mechanics, but it will not be something central like um, uh, the sax passive or the zelor telephone. It will not be that level of a big change, but it's still important nonetheless. But there will be something cool that we will discover, and I will tell you about in a bit. It will be a complete refresh of all spells, a, a better organization of progression, and a bettering of things that already exist. So better protection tools, better gameplay around the glyphs, especially. The Fekka does not have a power issue. Only in 1v1, where he really, really struggles. <laughs> in PVM, it is a class that truly shines. I just realized that we are all missing out on, um, <laughs> on Rebex. Uh, <laughs> Look at his face as the other guy is talking about the Fekka. He's looking at him like, oh, you don't say, what is this? No way, <laughs> you're joking. <laughs> He's in complete disbelief, so I'm just going to move my camera so you can get a full visual of his face as well. <laughs> he can't believe half of what he's hearing, I think. Oh, hold on, it's all good now. He didn't have power problems, the Fekka. Except in 1v1 where he really struggled, where in PVM it's an OP class, solo, team, doesn't matter. In multi-PVP it's a really reliable class. It was only 1v1 where it was a bit complicated. And we can also show that's the, well, the, the randomness of the matchups and class versus class. Yeah, so, but I'm not saying it will become the best class in 1v1, absolutely not. Globally. What we're trying to do with the Fekka is have more temporary summons. What does that mean? So a summon that can be summoned through an existing spell, which is called the uh, Shepherd's Lantern. I think they're leaning on the fact that the Fekka is a shepherd that herds its allies. That's why it has a staff and yeah. So it will gather its allies and protect them and ensure everyone is exactly where you are. So essentially they've turned the Fekka into a, uh, a w w what are they called, those sheep dogs. <laughs> So the spells Barricade and Bastion that can be now summoned on the field, a shield that is invulnerable to distance or with a little glyph around it. So we're teasing these type of modifications now. So these are temporary summons. You can't spam the whole map and yeah. So these are, you, you put it on a target and you can also put it physically, but also, yeah. Oh, that's really cool. So you can either place it on an, on an actual entity and make it invulnerable, just like we do now, or you can place it on the field and then it has an AOE that can benefit more than one character. That, that sounds original as hell. Well, <sighs> what we were saying so far, we, were, we have started talking about the uh, class updates. And what has happened so far is that we know that the Fekka is going to lean into its role of protector and not just itself, of its allies, so the shepherd role. Now, the glyphs, uh, it will have enhanced glyphs, enhanced protections, and the, like, barricade and bastion, which is long-range invulnerability, close combat invulnerability, will have an added little twist to them from what we learn now. You can place it on an ally or whatever, just like you can do now, and give them that state, or you can place it on the map and it creates a little glyph. Uh, I don't know, think of it like, uh, you know, the agility one that gives extra damage or whatever. And then you will be able to affect more than just one character at, at a time. 
So the spell can be materialized on this on the floor or you can put it on an ally. So you have multiple ways of interacting with the games. And globally we try to give identities to every elemental way. So and also enhance this shepherd identity, this protector identity. And we've leaned, really, really worked and leaned into that. So this uh, side of uh, placement, her, just like a shepherd does with his horde and uh, uh, flock, he hoards them and brings them all together and then protects them all together using shields and things like that. So we've renamed so many spells. You're not, a lot of you are not going to like that. <laughs> but the Fekka in general will have... Uh, like spells like natural attack was so generic that we've had to rename a lot of things to further boost that new identity we're trying to bring and so the um, elemental ways will be more axed on some things uh, so they will have a distinct identity like chance will have that identity and the oh this is a question that came up a lot hello hello potato pork hello kuba um uh, there's no mention of lifesteal. Stop saying the word Eslika. There hasn't been any mention of lifesteal. What they're saying now is um, the AP, MP reduction, range reduction, all the uh, reduction aspect that the Fekka had will be here. It's not going anywhere. So they just reworked the elements. And it will always have this ability to reduce other abilities from others. It's really difficult to tell more without giving direct details. So in essence, we will better the FECA. So this will give players the will and desire to go and test it tomorrow in the beta. Uh, <laughs> and I know we've already said this, but please do not hesitate to go to the beta tomorrow and then give us your feedback about the modifications that we've been talking about today. And well, well they're crucial, they're essential for the team so that we can make adjustments and improve things for you <laughs> if i could add some i'm I, I don't care i'm going to ruin your holiday if they say lifesteal i'm saying lifesteal if they don't say lifesteal i'm not gonna make it up just for you as licks <laughs> go and eat some snow so you can cool down a bit <laughs> <laughs> we've we've seen in the photos you've shared that there is some snow in Austria at the moment. So go and roll in it or do something to cool yourself up. <laughs> so please do give us feedback so we can make adjustments. So if I could add something that is a bit more important. There's a little mechanic that is principal. On, uh, there is a new passive on the Fekka that is called the Shepherd's Start, which is a state that the Fekka naturally has it, but he can pass it on to all, some of his allies. So, if any allies or whoever has the state gets into one of his glyphs, gets an extra little buff from resistance, depending on the element of what a, uh, whatever glyph uh, we are talking about. So, you'll see with a lot more glyphs when you test them yourself, but this is a new central thing for you to discover. It's, it's, it's really good, but we had to be very careful not to buff the power of the Fekka and make it imbalanced compared to the others. Shall we go to the steamer now? Right, for the Foganaut. I have looked at the list of, I know you haven't posted the list of modifications yet, but before I talk to you about it, we are going to listen to you about everything before we answer questions from chat, because there are things that obviously that could start debate, but we don't want to do that immediately. So let's just listen to you say things like that. So obviously the Foganaut, Foganaut has had the right to a big revamp. The biggest problem that we've had for this Foganaut, just to be very, very short, and I'll, I'm, we're going to explain all the modifications, but I want to be very, very very brief and give you a general state with the problems of the class. So in general, the elemental ways on the steamer, the Foganos, were completely useless. It had this unique thing around turrets, but the elemental uh, ways were completely useless. There was nothing there. It has no identity. And even in gameplay, using your actual spells of a certain uh, element completely. Useless. So we had the ambush that was overpowered and it still is. And this is after we have changed it from the previous meta and it still remains one of the most powerful spells in the game especially in pvm and pvp as well we see less of it because of the range reduction but it still remains one of the most powerful spells we have 
And also, just like we've seen on other classes that we've completely changed, there is a potential that is unexploited, uh, especially around the turrets, because we had some turrets that weren't balanced between each other. The interactions between them were not the same, they were not uniform. The interactions with the turrets, depending on which element you use, is not uniform. It's not, it's just, it's just complete rubbish. So we've had to completely revamp things and have a type of gameplay per elemental road so they aren't similar they don't look like each other there is a uh, working there is a working there's a way that you can play the fog or not depending on which element that you use so i'm thinking the interaction of the turrets will depend on what uh, element you use to interact with it it does different things maybe but they've also confirmed that anyone that is already playing the fog or not in multi crit uh, set it's still a viable way of playing the fog or not ambush uh, will be slightly nerfed but it remains a perfectly usable without giving you too many details it remains very playable and there will be an entire new gameplay that is around tourists that <coughs> sorry especially around the mechanic that is known as the rail which is when you align some turrets to be able to move from one to the hour to the other or move uh, something through it, bring an enemy, push an ally, anything that you can imagine around placement to do with the turrets, it's coming and it will be enhanced. Also, you can control the turrets once you inv once you evolve it to three. So we will add also new spells on the turrets. They will be called advanced spells. They will only be available when it's um, when it's Evo three and you have control over it. So these are spells that will be usable by, not just by the turret itself, but when you have control, it can use it on its own. But if you have control, then you can use those spells and you can even decide not to use that spell if you want. So we've tried to add some mechanics that were missing on the Foganaut. Uh, can you tell us a bit more about the identity of each elemental way? Yeah, yeah, of course, Ruskan, perfectly. So we have a uh, an elemental way that is based on completely just da pushback damage with a very nifty spell that brings about some chain in events and pushback. So um, there's an identity that will do with a lot of mobility and have some pushback. We have a chance way that is designed around tides, a new, a new thing, a high tide, low tide, so which will manage push or pull effects so you can switch states and make more placements and also MP reduction chance, chance these movements and MP reduction, increased fluidity of movement and two other elements which will be based on the turrets so the, ch the intel it will put the turrets Oh, the intel one is based around damage using turrets w which will give you the ability to place them damage, remove them, replace them somewhere else which is something you couldn't do on the fog or not you had to pause and wait for I don't know how many turns before you had the ability to use them so a more dynamic gameplay so you get back the cooldowns once you destroy them. You don't have to just wait for it to gain back the ability to respawn them. So it's a more a gameplay that we could compare to the uh, uh, to the bombs and the walls and the build up and things like that. So it's very comparable to the rogue while keeping three turrets maximum uh, as, as a max, and also a uh, earth that will use turrets to do MP reduction or uh, reduction in general around the turrets, push, pull. So it's a, the earth and strength is uh, AOE. It will be the AOE class and a reduction uh, element. Yeah, so placement, AOE and reduction. Strength is the way for it. So each element will have its own little things and we had a lot of fun testing the Seamer and the Foganaut and we've tested a lot of things in PVM and it was so, so fun playing the new elements and it works really, really, really well. So we're so excited to see what, how you find it. So we'll, fe we'll see a bigger diversity from the Foganaut and we keep the old classic steamer that you've played now with the ambush it, it's still perfectly viable but it's no longer the most interesting way of playing it it is viable but and also the pushback steamer fogger that people appreciate a lot it's one of the most technical the one of the most detail oriented one of the the most spectacular of all the most powerful in one turn of all the fogger ways this has been enhanced and it's better now 
So all the elemental spells you can use towards pushback nowadays and, and enhance that very little thing that we saw was missing with the Fognos. Thank you very much for that. And also everything to do with progression, uh, the obtention of which spell at which level, all of that will have been homogenized and improved so that it gives you a smoother experience while you're leveling your Fognos uh, uh, as you play it. Ah. <sighs> Uh, I told him is this uh, uh, are they moving steamer away from healing they haven't uh, welcome to the chat first of all uh, or there hasn't been a single mention of the word healing and Fogonaut <laughs> this evening we've heard AOE we've heard movements we've heard the reduction we've heard pushback damage we've heard placement uh, we've heard the fact that every element will now have its own identity and if you have a turret the way uh, w the element that you use to interact with the turrets Def defines what interaction you get out of it and all ways have been revamped so that each one has its own identity like the strength one is AOE and MP reduction, AP reduction, whatever. Uh, the intel one is around big damage where you can uh, throw the turrets, deal damage that you want and take them back, place them somewhere else. Uh, the chance one, we've heard some things about it as well, MP reduction, placement uh, and the complete rework of the uh, pushback one. Seems more likely a PvP class rather than PvM. Well, they've tested them in PvM flammable and they found them nothing but spectacular and super fun to try. Turrets will just continue to be one shot if you want to use them as an angel. <laughs> and now they focus mostly on pushback, which is really compatible with most other classes. We'll try and bet and see, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that, yeah there's a lot more to it. Essentially, what you should take away from this is the Fogonaut was missing something. They've put their hands on that little something and they've completely changed it. So now you can play Chance and it be viable. You can play Strength and have a different Fogonaut altogether. You can play Agility, Chance, Full Crit. It's a completely different class now. And the way you interact with the turrets depends on which elements you have used. And so I think it has gained a completely new life and new identity altogether. What was the first thing they've mentioned about the Fogonaut? Oh, I remember it's if you evolve a turret to level 3, you gain a new spell on the turret. And if you control, if you have the summon control, you can use it yourself and decide whether you want to use it or not. But you gain new spells, so imagine you have your spell kit, you place a summon and then you have new spells. So it's like Oza, as um, Savvy has said. <laughs> a sort of static Oza. Yes, Katushka, that's, that. that's exactly right. Yeah, that is the really cool thing is that if you play crit now, it's a completely different gameplay to if you play one single element, which is really cool. Because before that, every other elemental spell was completely useless. If you played around Ambush, you had a good class. If you deviated from that, you were just struggling. Cool, 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 cool. So more details will be in the changelog. Everything that you need to know. I don't need to repeat that, but 